This is the Sound World Solutions HD75 training video. Please remember to always wear a mask and exam gloves during these times of COVID-19 to help reduce transmission of any virus. Included in this video, understanding the HD75 product, how to evaluate and fit for a hearing loss, how to adjust the hearing aid based on the patient's feedback, HD75 app features. The HD75 hearing device kit will include the following. HD75 hearing device, ear tips, batteries, cleaning tool, user guide, carry case. Product familiarization. Buttons. Volume up. Press and release top button. You will hear the volume up voice prompt. Volume down. Press and release bottom button you will hear the volume down voice prompt. Presets. Press and hold the bottom button for at least two seconds to toggle between the three presets. You will hear the preset followed by the number, either one, two, or three, voice prompt. Environment modes. Press and hold the top button for at least two seconds to toggle between the three environment modes. Everyday, restaurant, and entertainment. You will hear a voice prompt for each environment mode. Battery door, located on the bottom of the HD75 hearing device. Use your finger to open the door. Insert the battery, then close the door until completely closed. The positive side of the battery should face up while the negative side should insert into the door. Batteries, the HD75 uses a disposable size 312 zinc air battery. With normal daily use, the battery should last about 4 days. When the battery is low, the HD75 hearing device will produce a voice prompt which will say, low battery. Ear tips. The HD75 comes with 5 different sized ear tips designed to fit most ears comfortably. The 5 sizes are extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. Carry case. The carry case provides a protective compartment for storing the hearing device when not in use. Remember to open the battery door prior to placing the hearing device in the carry case. Cleaning tool. The cleaning tool can be used to carefully brush off earwax from the ear tip. Holding the hearing device with the ear tip facing down, brush off any earwax accumulation on the ear tip. User guide. A user guide is included to refer to hearing device usage and maintenance. Physical fit. Placement on ear. The HD75 hearing device is designed to fit either ear, left or right. The S tubing is designed to fit different length ears from top of the ear to the ear canal opening. The five different sized ear tips are designed to fit most ear canals, providing a good seal for excellent sound quality. Begin by selecting the ear tip size that seems proper for the ear canal opening. Attach the ear tip to the receiver nozzle. Place the HD75 up and over the ear. Do not place it too low behind the ear. Grab the plastic receiver housing and insert the ear tip into the canal. Gently wiggling and pushing the ear tip housing portion will allow for better insertion into the canal. The ear tip housing portion should insert far enough to create a good seal for better sound quality. Removal from ear. To remove the HD75 hearing device, gently grab the receiver housing plastic and or the tubing on the side of the head and carefully pull the ear canal part out first and then remove from the ear. Hearing screening. Connect HD75 to Kindle. Go into the Kindle settings, select Bluetooth. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Insert a battery into the HD75 and close the door to turn it on. Connect HD75 to app. Open the HD75 app. On the initial screen, tap on No Hearing Device under right or left ear, whichever ear you want to run the hearing screen on. Select the HD75 listed according to the serial number. You should see a green dot next to the selected HD75, which verifies it is connected. Tap Continue to move to the next screen. Run hearing screening. Instruct the patient that he or she will hear many beeps. 
Every time they hear a beep, even if it is a soft beep and they just hear it, they should raise their hand to let you know they heard it. Insert the HD75 hearing device in the test ear and the foam plug into the non-test ear. Make sure you are in a quiet setting to avoid noise interference. At the end of the hearing screening, press OK to have the software automatically program the hearing device to the patient's hearing results. Equalizer The equalizer is where you can adjust the overall sound of the HD75. Ask the patient how the HD75 sounds and adjust accordingly. Adjust the volume level up or down to increase or decrease the overall frequency response. Treble provides clarity of speech. To increase clarity, increase treble. If the patient is experiencing a tinny sound and or some feedback, try to decrease treble. Decrease mid-frequencies if you are hearing a robotic sound when people talk to you. Increase mid-frequencies for more volume. Bass provides low frequency amplification. If your own voice is too boomy, decrease the bass in small increments. If you just need to boost volume a bit without increasing the high frequencies, try increasing bass in small increments. If you adjust the equalizer and it does not sound good, tap the reset button to bring values back to the starting point, all zeros. Tools The Presets Personal Profile option takes you back to the personalization screen. Enter Audiogram option allows you to enter audiogram information if the patient is coming to you with a recent hearing test. You can enter the values and the frequencies provided. This would replace having to run the hearing screening. Recalibrate ear tip is an option to use each time you change the ear tip to allow the software to calibrate for feedback or whistling. Language default is English. More options may be added in the future. Factory reset allows you to return the HD75 to its factory settings to start all over. User guide provides instructions on using the HD75 app and when to make changes to the environment modes and equalizer. About provides the HD75 app version, the serial number, and the HD75 hearing device firmware. Thank you for viewing the Sound World Solutions tutorial on the HD75 hearing device. Please contact us for questions, comments, and or feedback.